Today's episode deals with the many dangers of dengue. This disease has become so prevalent in the last few years that we have to be well informed about all the details of dengue. Children are especially at risk since dengue does not have any specific treatment, no medicines, no antibiotic. The only thing doctors can do is hydration of the patient, so the best way to fight dengue is prevention. So keep watching and find out how in this episode of HealthWise. Hi, welcome to another episode of HealthWise. For today, we have as guest a pediatric hematologist and oncologist, Dr. Cynthia Milikor. Hi, Dr. Milikor. I understand you want to be called Chan. Yes. If I can, I may call you Chan. I may call you Dr. Milikor. Okay. okay. Now, Dr. What is a hematologist, a pediatric hematologist, oncologist uh, do? What, 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 is it, what is it all about? Uh, we treat uh, children having blood diseases. Blood diseases meaning? And, uh, like uh, anemia, leukemia, and also cancer in children. So children with oncology. cancer, oncology. So that's what hematology, oncology consists of. Okay. Now, uh, there has been an, an upsurge of dengue uh, these past uh, how many months? Mm -hmm. And I guess that will fall under your care. Hematology. Yeah. Yeah. Hematology. We are called in because of the bleeding that will you happen. You know, it, it, it may surprise you as, you know, it, it, it is common, uh, common knowledge that a lot of people don't know so much about dengue Although it's it's a it's a disease, it's a, a phenomenon that is that we see in the newspapers almost what daily nowadays, especially yeah. during rainy days. Yeah. And still, we just take it for granted that uh, we don't know so much about it. Uh, can you please uh, enlighten us about dengue? Okay, actually, a long time uh, before, how many years ago, it usually happens only during rainy uh -huh. days. Uh -huh. But right now, we have dengue. Year all year round, even if it's not the rainy season, okay. and dengue consists of four types. Uh -huh. So it doesn't mean that when you have dengue the first time that you're already immune to dengue because there are still three other types that you might be infected with. Uh, so meaning the immunity might be for one type, just for the okay. one type that you okay. were infected okay. with. But if you get infected with the other serotypes, instead of the antibodies of the other type, instead of helping with this new infection, uh -huh. it will aggravate the oh. infection of the other types. So when you have second or third uh -huh. episodes of dengue, the They're more, more vulnerable. yes, to oh. bleeding and more severe types. Of so dengue. that's the complete opposite of yes. uh, immunity. You know that the, the the concept of immunity. That's right. Okay. Because the different serotypes, you have different uh, types of the virus, uh -huh. no? so it will not and, identify. And, and what are what are these? Uh, Actually, we just call them uh, serotype one, two, and three, and four. But of uh -huh. these four, they say the serotype number two is the most severe virulent. type, the virulent. Uh -huh. So, um, what are the manifestations? I mean, you know, we, we say you are supposed to be bitten by a daytime day biting mosquito. Oh, okay, like, and they and and uh, they say also it's not really day; it's towards afternoon or something. No, actually, this mosquito they are active during nine from nine a.m. until three p.m. Okay. and at four o'clock they will start to look for a place where they can rest usually stagnant water where they will lay their eggs so it's in the evening time they will lay their eggs Towards and where four. they will rest yes yes that's why we have this what we call the three o'clock habit now mm -hmm. you go around your household and try to look for any standing water or any container having uh -huh. water you throw those uh -huh. water because it's the time for this mosquito to, to breathe, breathe. Oh, I see. I see. okay so so uh for all types of 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 dengue, the manifestations are the same. Yeah. And, and what are these manifestations? Uh, usually the, the, the child will come up with fever and the fever is most of the time it's high grade and 
uh, this is what we call the remittent type, meaning it, if it goes down after giving paracetamol, it will not go down to normal. Most of the time, it will just go down a little, but it will not approach the normal level. And so if you have, say high fever, it's towards uh, what? 39 30? and up, 39.5 and up. So that's the high grade fever. And they will complain of headache, pain at the back of the eyes, and then joint pains and really body malaise. Uh -huh. So the child will feel weak. Sometimes they vomit. Uh -huh. They do not like to take in anything. Uh -huh. They do not like to play.